Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing fine. To those of you who are staying at home, good. Please do keep on staying at home. Hashtag stay home. Hashtag stay safe. You know, we're in this current situation that's very, I would say... Um, pandemic? Yeah, it's a pandemic. So, yeah, make sure you stay clean. Wash your hand uh, most of the time, okay? You don't want you, yourself to get... um. COVID-19 and stuff so yes yeah or any other diseases in that matter as well okay so as we are approaching to 30th of April we are little by little getting close to our launching of Legends of Runeterra so you know you uh, they can't really hear you right oh yeah I forgot yeah because this mic is near me not near you <laughs> Yeah, so uh, uh, so the, um, another video was released uh, that is from Noxus, which is his favorite faction in um, League of Legends. Um, he means Darius. He loves Darius. And yeah, so over here we have After Victory. So we, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be like a war that Noxus won or something-ish kind of, yeah? Probably. Ish, I guess. I mean, you won't call after victory if they lose, right? Who knows? Yeah. Okay, so um, before we actually go into this video, right, I want to read the description a bit down here, okay? So, he says that Darius and his victorious war hosts demand that the king of Urtis surrender his throne, offering every citizen from the highest noble to the lowest, lowliest, lowliest servant. servant a place in the Noxian Empire. I like the cast though. Darius, the hand of Noxus, Captain Farron, uh, Trifarini, Trifariani. I know it's Trifarian. Why is there no I behind there? Glory, Hunter. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so let's watch what this is all about. The story after victory. I like the design though. It's very nice. Ooh. a call that came in just now so we had to like pause for a while so now we're back okay okay so let's let's continue watching this video i mean so far i would say it's cool i, I like the, the, the one that barged in first the, the full armored clad guy you know? the, the, the person the, i mean in the cast he did mention just now right what what farron was it the name I if i'm mistaken I don't know. It's okay. Come on. Let's continue first. This and this bloodshed. Oh, wow. That was easy. Oh. I mean, at least Darius showed mercy and just now. You no longer have subjects. Today, they become citizens of Noxus. Rejoice at the end of kings. Noxus offers freedom and fortune for any strong enough to take it. Turned to me by a slave. Unworthy even to touch it or stand in my presence. That's cocky. <laughs> Don't you see, Nox? But 
gods return the crown to me, then it is bloodshed. No, the kingdom is mine, or it is a graveyard. Show them, girl. Die for your king. Really? Go! That's me. No. Oh, nice. Did <laughs> Darius just throw it? Oh my god! Patch 11.0, Darius becomes a rage champion. <laughs> Kings demand you kneel before their heirlooms and unearned titles. Noxus wants you to stand, so you can be reforged in a glory. I don't know why. I don't know why this shows that Noxus. Noxus. Yeah, he's a good guy. She grew up! That was awesome. I agree, that was awesome. I mean, like, one thing that I am actually very surprised about is that, you know, all these wells, we think that Noxians are, like, the bad guys. Yeah. Like, you know, they're the one who's gonna like go, go crazy for power, you know. The evil ones, like, yeah, the like evil ones. Stereotypical evil villain in all Disney movies, you know? Yeah. But, you know, when they show it in Legends of Runeterra like this, I mean, like. It sheds new light towards how the thing actually, how the ecosystem in the game actually works. I mean, in my opinion, it all. Um, shine a bit brighter when the Silas teaser came out. Why? Remember uh, where Lux freed Silas and then he told that the the Martian is based on lies and mm. something like that. Something along that line, you know? Because they denounce magic entirely and cripple those who have magic. But then again, it always... Before that, actually, it always shows that the the Marcia is the good, the, the, the goody two shoes, and the Noxus is the Disney evil characters. So, it, it, in a way, now it shows a bit more, um, how to put it, dynamics in their ecosystem. What what Noxus is actually is, and what the Marcia is actually is. Both sides represent not something just plain black and white, but have their ups and downs, the grey areas of the com up, eh? the humanity side. Yeah? yeah, I agree on that though. I mean, is 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 I think it's very refreshing to actually see something that is unpredictable. I mean, because I was I, expecting that you know Darius is just gonna kill merciless, yeah. you know, the king and stuff. But then. You know, as we as we saw in the video, like they he, they actually like he actually like stop one of his uh, the big the guy, juggernaut. yeah, the juggernaut <laughs> from like killing or like you know crushing that person's foot and stuff like that. And like he his speech of like saying that like, you know freedom is for everyone and so on and so forth, and like you won't be treated as like um you know like you know yeah. in, in a hierarchy kind of thing so, so it's actually kind of cool and interesting as well you know if you notice the means that they did they walk in two person walk in and then they held one captain he didn't instantly kill that guy you know that, that guy is just putting his feet on his head knowing that he can crush him anytime but he gave them option stop killing and this you will be saved and join them or he will kill all of them so it, in other we kind of sort of give them an option ish i mean i think the reason why they give options is because noxious nox noxus themselves i mean they're trying to grow an empire yeah. but an, an empire that i would say an equal for everyone where everyone is treated equally like how you know the girl that when the king said Yo, you're just a slave and whatever not so the girl actually came to the realization that you know Noxia Noxians are actually you know giving them this opportunity to you know 
yeah and equal footing and become a better and greater person than who you are you know in that particular current environment you know when the king was there so i mean it's cool it's awesome you know seeing this new light towards all this um stories yeah. and um the, um the lore itself and um i can't wait for more though i mean like what are we missing right now uh there's not this the muscles i think i'm not so sure if there was a the masia video the, the, before the Garen and Fiora. oh yeah the Garen and Fiora. yeah that was uh, it I'm not sure if we have Ionia or not, but I anyway, will keep posted and see if there's more video coming. But for now, uh, we're going to leave it here. And um, yeah, do let us know what is your opinion as well, because we want to know, I mean, like pre from previous video, there are some of you guys who actually like, you know, share your opinions and stuff, which is very cool. And I want to know from you guys as well, what do you think of Tales of Runeterra Noxus after victory? And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Okay? Bye!